Welcome back to the Math Revision Made Meticulous video series. Topic Vectors, Day 28, Vector Product of Vectors. Revision, as the name suggests, means looking back over previously learned information, ensuring that it is clear and fresh in the mind. Five questions per day from selected topic is presented at this video series. The steps in answers are supported by the ideas used for getting the answer. Vector product. If vector A and vector B are non-zero vectors inclined at an angle <coughs> theta, then the vector product of vector A and vector B is defined by vector A cross vector B is equal to magnitude of A into magnitude of B into sine of the angle between the vector that is sine theta into vector n. A B sin theta vector n where this vector n is a unit vector perpendicular to the plane of vector a and vector b which contains vector a and vector b. And uh, let us see some results on this uh, vector product. A cross b is a vector and a cross b is equal to minus of b cross a and a cross a is equal to 0 because the angle between them is 0, sin 0 is 0, therefore a cross a is 0. And if vector a is given in the form of its components, a1i plus b1j plus e1k and vector b as a2i plus b2j plus e2k, then how to get a cross b? It is a 3 cross determinant, where the first row is ijk, the unit vectors along the coordinate axis and the second row is the component from the first vector that is a1 b1 c1 and third row is the component from the second vector that is a2 b2 c2 making use of the idea of expanding a determinant expand it i into minus j into into k into then you will get a vector that is nothing but a cross b now if a and b are parallel then a cross b is equal to zero by making use of this uh, previous idea of the determinant, when A and B are parallel, then two rows will be identical. Second row and the third row will become identical, therefore the answer will be 0. For the vector A and B, the unit vector perpendicular. We are want to find a vector which is perpendicular to the plane A and B, not only that it should be a unit vector. It is given by A cross B by its magnitude. A cross B by the magnitude of A cross B will give you a unit vector perpendicular to the plane of vector A and vector B. Then, suppose this A and B, they form one parallelogram, the adjacent sides of a parallelogram. Then, the area of the parallelogram is given by magnitude of A cross B. Area of the parallelogram whose adjacent sides or some book will use the word determined by a and b adjacent sides are given by magnitude of a cross b sometime you may be given the diagonals if they are the diagonals are given then the area of the parallelogram whose diagonals are a and b are given by half into a cross b that is half of that magnitude of the cross product suppose you have been given a triangle the area of the triangle whose adjacent sides are a and b is given by half of a cross b very simple because all of us know that the area of a triangle is half of the area of a parallelogram. Let us move on to some questions. Find a unit vector perpendicular to both the vectors A and B. We already seen that the unit vector perpendicular to both A and B is A cross B by magnitude of A cross B. Let us first find A cross B. We have to find it by making use of a 3 cross determinant. First row ijk, second row from the first vector 1 minus 2 3. Third, third row from the second vector that is 1, 2, minus 1. You expand it, i into removing the row in which contains, removing the column in which contains. Then all of us know how you got it. Minus 2, 3, 2, minus 1, minus j into 1, 3, 1, minus 1, plus k into 1, minus 2, 1, 2. When I expand it, I got minus 4i plus 4j plus 4k. Minus 4i plus 4j plus 4k. Now what, what I have to do? I have to find the magnitude of it. It is square root of 4 square plus 4 square plus 4 square. Therefore, it is 4 root 3 by taking 16 outside. Well, the unit vector perpendicular to both is the vector by its magnitude. For minus 4i plus 4j plus 4k by 4 root 3. 
by cancelling that 4, you will get 1 by root 3 into minus i plus j plus k. Therefore, if you want a unit vector perpendicular to both a and b, it is the cross product by its magnitude. Suppose if they want a vector of magnitude 5 units, which is perpendicular to both a and b, find the unit vector multiplied by 5. Then on to the next question, find the area of the parallelogram determined by, very simple, these are all the adjacent sides, therefore the area of the parallelogram is magnitude of a cross b, that is all, find the a cross b now, once again i j k, second row from the first vector 1 2 3, third row from the second vector 3 minus 2 1, expand it as I we know how to expand here 3 cross 3 determinant for i into 2 plus 6 minus j into 1 minus 9 plus k into minus 2 minus 6. For I got 8i plus 8j minus 8k. We have to find its magnitude. It is square root of 8 square plus 8 square plus 8 square which is 8 root 3. For area of the parallelogram is 8 root 3 square units. Now they can ask it in the exam area of a triangle also or area of a parallelogram whose diagonals may be given. Already we have discussed its formula. Question number 3. Sometimes let us move on to question number 3. Here, we want to do a problem connecting the dot product and cross product. Given magnitude of A is 10, magnitude of B is 2 and A dot B is 12 and find the magnitude of A cross B. Let us now try to define a formula connecting A dot B and A cross B. For that, I start with A dot B the whole square plus magnitude of A cross B the whole square. What is A dot B? A B cos theta the whole square. Mag then magnitude of a cross b is a b sin theta into vector n that is a unit vector when you take uh, magnitude on both sides magnitude of vector n is 1 therefore you will get only a b sin theta expand it magnitude of a square and magnitude of b square taken outside cos square theta plus sin square theta which is 1 therefore we got a result magnitude of a dot b the whole square that is a dot b whole square simply plus magnitude of a cross b whole square is magnitude of a square plus magnitude of b square or a square into b square. Now substitute the, those values which are given in the question 12 square plus magnitude of a cross b whole square is 10 square into 2 square for 144 plus magnitude of a cross b whole square is 400 for magnitude of a cross b the whole square is 256 therefore its magnitude is 16. Now this problem can be done in the other way also. From a dot b you can get what is cos theta, from cos theta you can get sin theta and you can substitute there also. From in that fashion also you can get a cross b, magnitude of a cross b. Let us move on to question. Let us move on to question number 4. <coughs> Prove that the points a, b, c with position vectors, vector a, vector b, vector c respectively are collinear if and only if vector a cross vector b plus vector b cross vector c plus vector c cross vector a is equal to 0. Here we are going to find a condition for collinearity using cross product. Well, OA is vector A given, position vector given, OB is vector B given and OC is vector C given. Now, the points are collinear if the vector AB and vector BC, the vectors formed by the three points are parallel and all of us know that P is B is common, therefore they are collinear. Now let us try to find what is AB, it is OB minus OA, that is B minus A. What is BC, OC minus OB, which is C minus B. Now we already found that when the two vectors are parallel, that cross product is 0 because angle between them is 0. Cross product AB cross BC is 0. What is AB, B minus A. What is BC, C minus B is equal to 0. Let us continue. Now we have to simply expand the brackets b minus a cross c minus b minus a cross b is equal to 0. Again expand the bracket b cross c minus a cross c minus of b cross b minus a cross b. Here we have to use two uh, condition that is the condition for what is the formula for b cross b when b cross b is 0 then minus of a cross c is c cross a. Already we have discussed this. Therefore we will substitute it now. Therefore, it will become the condition A cross B. Then the next term is B cross C. The next term is C cross C is equal to 0. Well, let us move on to question number 5. Find the angle between the vectors, vector A and vector B, if magnitude of A cross B is same as magnitude A dot B. 
we have to find the angle between the vectors what is given in the question a cross b magnitude is a dot b already we have discussed what is the magnitude of a cross b it is a b sin theta a dot b is a b cos theta now as these are all non zero vectors we can cancel that magnitude of a and magnitude of b you will get sin theta is equal to cos theta therefore tan theta is equal to 1 when the tan theta will be 1 when theta is pi by 4 so the angle between the vectors will be pi by 4 when the magnitude of a cross b is same as a dot b success is dependent on efforts all the best thank you